Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see the difference between observable and a functions. So, when uh, what is the difference between these observables and a functions? Let's try to see. So, a contradictory what I can say is both the observables and the functions are one and the same only. So, we can use the observables and also we can use the function. Both perform the same fu same functionality. Look, the main difference what will be uh, what will be having is observables returns the multiple values but function can return only singular value, single value only. So, it, it cannot return multiple values. That is the main difference. Let us try to see it in an example. So, normally what I can say is uh, both observables and functions are lazy push collection of multiple items. So, that means not functions, observables are lazy push collection of multiple values. So, now let us try to see it. Here I am creating a new file, something like function. Okay. So, here I am creating a new file function.ts. So, here I will be creating function.ts and here I will be having something like export function, uh, what I can write function obs. Okay. So, this is the function obs and here what we can do is console.log function call, I am doing the console and I am returning something like 1. So, this is the just sample function. Now, we will call this function. So, what will happen? Let us try to see. I am creating a new component here. Let us go into this one. So, clear it out and here I will create something like ng gc components. In the components, I will be creating function observable. So, we need to check the difference between function and observable. So, let us try to see. So, I am creating a component function observable. The component is created. Now, let us open this component. So, for the time being what I will try to do is in the app component.html, I will try to comment out this one all. Okay. And I will write this component app hyphen function observable. Okay. So, this is the output I hope it I will be getting. So, here if I try to refresh it, yeah, function observable, but still we are getting this one. So, why we are getting this one all? So, because of this app component ts, yeah, here this is the code. So, for the time being, I will be commenting this one all. In the constructor also, I will be commenting. That is it. So, now what we have did in the function.ts, so this is a uh, external file. In the function.ts, we have created a function, function obs, something like that. So, in order to call this function, what we will try to do here in the constructor or somewhere, whatever. So, you will call something like function obs. That is it, right? So, now we will call like this. So, whenever you call this function obs, okay. So, I will do console.log. So, now whenever I call this function obs, let us try to see the output. Now, we, we got some errors. One second. Okay, function obs export. So, what is the error we are getting? Function obs. So, instead of calling like this, what we can do is, so where is that one? Function.ts, okay, export function, function obs. We are calling directly this one, right? So, everything is correct. So, it is imported also. Okay, let us try to, yeah, run it. Yeah, it is working. So, now here we are able to see function call console that is coming from the function.ts file and also one is printed. Fine, it is fine. It is fine. Now, what I will try to do is, here I will write console.log before function. Okay. So I will do like this. And here I will call another one. And here I will write console.log after function. After function call. So now if we try to execute this one, so how could be this output? If we try to see. So, everything will be executed synchronously. So, before function, function call first first time and the second function call and the after function call, the function has been executed. Now, in order to implement the same behavior in an observable. So, how we will be implementing? Let us try to see. So, here I will be creating something like export constant func observable. So, I will be creating like this is equal to new observable and you here you will be having an observer. So, the same thing, same output I need to get. So, here I can write console.log. So, instead of having function call, I will, I will be writing observable call. And now, I need to send observer dot next of 1 or something like this, I will try to send. 
observer dot next that is it. So, now we have implemented a new observable. So, same like function call only, but we have some data different and now I will try to implement the same thing. So, I can copy and I can paste it down here. Okay. So, think something like before observable and here instead of calling this one like this. So, how we will be calling? So, func, func observable. So, func observable dot subscribe. Okay. So, dot subscribe of data and here you will call something like console.log data that is it and the same scenario if you want to print another time means you need to subscribe to the same observable another time that is it after observable call. So, now if you try to see the output see now he uh, here let us execute yeah. So, before function function call two times happening after function call in the same scenario before observable observe call one second two times happen after observable. So, that means the same implementation what, what the function is doing. So, we can implement the same thing with an observable also. So, that means observe whatever the observable it is doing the same thing we can do it using the function only. So, that means what I can say the observable is nothing but the same implementation the observable is the same implementation of function. So, function calling and also obs observable subscribe is one and the same only. Then what I, what you some people can be claiming that it is an uh, observable is an asynchronous. Yeah, it is an asynchronous but most probably what we can see is it is a synchronous thing only. So, the main difference where it will come is the function can return only one value whereas the observable returns the multiple values. So, for example, if I go to the function dot ts and here I can if I want to write return 2. So, this one is a dead code ok here is a dead code. So, the the compiler will not reach here this one up to return. So, if I try to execute so it will always print one only but whereas the observable if you want to return another return another value means you can return it ok next of 2. So, you can return it. So, now sorry observer right observer dot next. So, you can return it now whereas this function call returns only one only. Now, if I try to refresh so, here it is returning 1 2 observable is returning 2 and function is returning only 1 ok. So, this is the thing and another one what we can do is so observable not only it returns the multiple values it returns the asynchronous it handles the asynchronous data also. For example, here I can write something like set timeout ok set timeout and I want to send after 2 seconds observer dot next of 3. So, I want to send this one after something after 2 seconds. So, now what will happen see. So, if I try to execute so the function calls the function call everything is syn synchronous before function function call function after function call. So, here if you try to see before observable so 1 2 1 2 after observable call. So, that means completed. So, everything is completed and after some time 3 it is again sub again emitting the values 3 3. So, that means it is an asynchronous. So, here if you try to see so, here before observable, so it is emitting 1 to 1 to values and after observable call it is executing. Then after we are after 2 seconds we are emitting the value through the observable and again it is executing here the 2 subscribers it is executing. Okay. So, these are the 2 difference between the functions. So, most probably generation of sync. So, commonly what I can say is observables and functions are one and the same, but the main difference between the observable and function is observables can emit the multiple values whereas function returns only something like with a single value only and also observables can return the asynchronous uh, asynchronous values also it can deal with the asynchronous thing also. So, if it, somebody asks you something like important thing what are the difference between observables and function means we can directly tell that observables are like functions with zero arguments. So, it does not take any arguments, but it is generalized to allow the multiple values. So, but observable is generalized to allow multiple values where it function allows only the one value. So, this is the main difference observables and functions are one and the same only. So, the both are lazily lazy lazily push. So, it will be called when only you call the observable dot subscribe when only you call the subscribe only it will be executed in the same scenario function also will be executed whenever you call this one using the brackets like this until and unless you do not call this one this function will not be executed this function will not execute until and unless you do not call this dot subscribe this observable will not be executed ok. Hope you understood the main difference between this observable and function this is the important thing ok. If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. And all this code is all this code is hosted in the GitHub repository. So you can go and reference to that particular branch. So I am keeping a I am creating a new branch for every video, something like video number hyphen video, something like that. So you can go to that particular branch and you can see this particular code. Okay.
थैंक यू